tea time. Welcome everybody, Soldan and the Grin Brothers here, and it's time for another episode of Tea Time. Now then, for today's tea, I have with me pretzel tea. Okay, it's not actually called pretzel tea, but it might as well be because it smells like a pretzel. It it smells so strongly of a pretzel, and it does help that it is free cinnamon tea, as it describes from this uh, pucker box I've got of free cinnamon. Uh, sweet embrace of organic Indian, Indonesian, and Vietnamese cinnamon. It's 20 herbal tea sachets I've got with me, so it's a herbal tea. Uh, cinnamon is nature's sun trap. Bask in the spicy sweet heat of the world's finest free cinnamons and feel her warm embrace filling you with life. Enjoy the warmth. You have to boil for at least five minutes according to it. I'm not sure how much extended time. And uh, it also says do not drink more than four cups a day. That worries me. Why would a tea come with a warning of don't drink too much of it? Is is cinnamon poisonous? Is three different... Is what? Well, that'd be over 12 cinnamons. You have over 12 cinnamons in you at once and you die. Dun, 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 dun. Who'd have thought cinnamon could kill people? Nope, 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 not sure, not sure where I was throwing that. In any case, uh, today's tea time uh, is uh, one that I've been thinking about for a while because it was something, the, the situation of it came up a while ago. And um, that's something is concerning my 3DS and a specific part of the 3DS. And the nature of this tea time is different to what I'd initially planned, but Basically, today I've been, uh, well, not the day I'm uploading this, but the day I'm reco I recorded this, uh, the day I was playing Team Kirby Clash Deluxe, as well as later on Pokemon Sun version. And these games occasionally use the L and R buttons of the 3DS. And that reminded me of something that was really annoying me. The fact that my L and R buttons for my 3DS are broken. They're not, they're not completely broken, they occasionally work, apparently... They've got some dust trapped in them and are dislodged from the actual connector. So they'll only occasionally work. I sometimes have to blow really hard into both the shoulder buttons in order to get them to work. And the L button is particularly sketchy as to when it wants to work. So originally it was effectively going to be a rant video or, well, a rant discussion of me complaining about the 3DS. But whenever I try to complain about the 3DS, I also remind myself of the things I love about the 3DS. So eventually this tea time basically just came, I guess, a introspection or retrospection or whatever of the 3DS. And I don't mean the games of the 3DS. I'm talking about the system itself. The games are, of course, the most important part of any video game system. But I'm talking about thinking about the system itself, what the system can do and what the system contains within it from the get go. Occasionally that could mean games or rather access to games. Like for instance, if I were to do such an introspection of say the Vectrex, well that's got a built in game, much like the Sega Master System. A lot of their Sega Master Systems had uh, built in games with it. And those would be the ones I'd take into consideration and as well as what games could be played on the system, what it has access to. But I'm not here to discuss about the specific games on the 3DS. There are plenty of 3DS games I love, both physically and via the eShop, as well as the DSi Wear. But it's not about the games here, it's about the hardware here I'd like to talk about. Uh, for instance, I guess ruminating back to the very beginning, um, the tile will have appeared now. I had a completely different tile in mind before, so who knows what the tile is now. Going back to the very beginning of with the 3DS, when I did get it, I remember the reason I got it, I became very desperate for it because I really wanted Dead or Alive Dimensions. And the reason I wanted it desperately is that I heard that Dead or Alive Dimensions would be adding new costumes via spot pass features and sort of free updates. However, I was worried that if I didn't get the Dead or Alive Dimensions around the time when it came out, that I would end up missing out on those free updates. Uh, and so I would end up never being able to get any of these costumes. It, it was very silly panicking about it so much, but I was at the time. And this was, uh, ironically, thankfully, at a time where the 3DS wasn't selling very well. So Game were doing a big promotion to try and help sell 3DSs. And through that promotion, I ended up getting a 3DS and The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. And I was frankly amazed with the 3DS. Like, I, know, I, st I tend to stick with my original sort of handhelds throughout the generation. I, n I got a Game Boy Advance, never upgraded to a Game Boy Advance SP. I got a DS, never upgraded to a DS Lite or, or DSi, I should be the one I'm saying here. So this standard 3DS, the one I've stuck with, 
was a big jump from DS to 3DS. If you had a DSi, I imagine the, the jump wasn't quite as significant. The DSi could connect to the internet and had access to the DSiWare store and stuff. But for me, the 3DS was a huge jump. Like... You know, being able to connect to the internet with a handheld, that was incredible for me. Having the Miis on the handheld, that was incredible. The control stick, the controls, the, I love the circle pad. Ironically, I was kind of disappointed when the Wii U didn't have circle pads on it instead of control sticks like was originally shown. In fact, I'd uh, be perfectly fine with the Nintendo Switch having circle pads instead of control sticks. I'm, I love how the circle pads feel. Admittedly, they do wear away and the, the, it, you know, doesn't have... I've heard that Smash Bros. players in particular, with their hard use of it, it damages it quite quickly. It's not as sturdy as a regular control stick, but I feel it's very comfortable and fits in the thumb perfectly. Um, I like the D-pad of the system. It could have been better. The placement feels a bit weird because it, you know, the 3DS isn't quite as big as I would prefer a handheld to be. But, of course, I always get the handheld, the first editions of the handhelds. Um, and there are a lot of features I love to, to the 3DS and quickly caught on to loving. I loved having access to the DSiWare store. I became a big fan of Circle games that Circle would publish. The Lost Town, The Dusk, and The Lost Town, The Jungle. Absolutely loved them to bits. And I loved The Witch and Hero. And there's another, a couple other uh, Circle-made games. Well, not Circle-made, Circle-published games that I've been wanting to try out, but haven't actually gone around to playing. Uh, the Virtual Console allowed me to play Kirby, uh, Kirby's uh, Adventure 3D version, which... Mate, honestly, I feel the NES version of uh, Kirby 3D, sorry, Kirby's Adventure, uh, is actually better than the uh, Game Boy Advance remake, Kirby Nightmare in Dreamland. It just kind of feels better to control. Weird that, but um, other aspects I really liked. You know, I I tried just about everything to it. I loved how it had the was it the pedometer, pedometer to be able to measure my steps. I loved sort of tracking how far I walked each day. On my walks, I loved how it record, you know, rec tracked down uh, how long I played my games. Uh, I loved the Me system. I got to take a photo of myself, and it came out perfectly. It's the one I use on my Wii U, and it looks wonderful. Um, I will admit it messed up first time, but that's because I was wearing my glasses, so it just kind of destroyed my entire face. And uh, another feature I absolutely adored about the uh, 3DS was Street Pass, and particularly the Street Pass mini games they ended up adding. I can't recite all of the names of each of the street class quests. They sort of like different mini games they added, but I absolutely loved them to bits. I just had so much fun playing them, and sometimes I would spend my day playing a 3DS, not playing a specific video game, but just the street pass ones. Uh, I believe the people who made them, I believe one of them was made by Probe, the Yuji Naka team. I think that was the flower one, and a few of them were made by the people who made Yoshi's New Island. But I got you know tip my hat to them. I absolutely loved them. Then, the but, as it were, certain things arose. One, I never ended up downloading the other Street Pass games, despite my love of the Street Pass thing. I also have kind of alluded to my other problem before about the uh, size of the system. The 3DS isn't quite so comfortable for my hand, and it isn't quite so comfortable for certain games. My hands begin to cramp after too long of a period. Um... And with certain games, ah, oh, which ones were I trying to remember? Certain games ended up really crapping my hand. Was it Metroid Prime Federation Force? Metroid Prime Federation Force certainly was cramping my hand quite a bit. But there's a few other games I remember playing. Uh, they were enjoyable, but they really started to cramp my hands because of the size of the 3DS. Another huge problem with the 3DS is, as I know before, the L and R buttons. Compared to the regular DS, in fact, the general feel of the regular DS, despite how I was wowed away by the technology of the 3DS, it doesn't feel as nice to hold or to use as a DS. The regular DS uh, just feels so much nicer to just hold on its own. The L and R buttons in particular are so much nicer to press. The L and R buttons on the 3DS, in my opinion, are terrible. They're, they're terrible L and R shoulder buttons. Originally, this video was, as I noted, going to just basically be me complaining about shoulder buttons. Um, I'm not a fan of how scratched up the 3DS screen has gotten. People can apparently draw a Miiverse, but honestly, it's pretty atrocious. That's why for Nanka's Pokemon Miiverse Adventure, I have to go and use the Wii U gamepad every time I want to do the drawing for each of the uh, cover arts for each uh, act. Uh, because I can't draw on the 3DS's touchscreen, it scratches way too easily. Um, 3D. I, unlike other people, I'm going to say I love the 3D feature. 
Uh, one of the best games in terms of looking at the 3D, though, was uh, Star Fox 64 3D. Unfortunately, the other thing I liked about Star Fox 64 3D is its gyro controls. You can't use gyro controls in tandem with the 3D, at least with a regular 3DS. As cool as I thought it was, it's only really good because of the movement when playing, uh, well, basically when a cutscene occurs. 3D is really only good for when the cutscenes are occurring. Uh, of course, they fixed out of layer iterations, but for the standard iteration, nah, nah, they didn't, they didn't. And then as to why I didn't download the other Street Pass games, memory space. The 3DS didn't get packed with a lot of memory space. And with being opened up for the DSiWare store for the first time, as well as the layer virtual console releases and the ambassador program and everything, my memory of my 3DS and its SD card that was a company river got taken up very quickly. And I've got a new SD card, but the problem is, unlike, it's just hard to keep track of it. I think it's in my drawer somewhere. I hope it's in my drawer somewhere, because I've got a lot of old video game data on that SD card. But... You know, I wasn't able to store much data and it got used up very quickly, which is very unusual. Nintendo kept releasing a lot of download only games, such as like Dylan's Rolling Western, which were pretty big in terms of data storage. They weren't enough to make up a whole cartridge, but they were too big to really encourage it to be downloaded. I mean, I love Dylan's Rolling Western. I mean, the game isn't suited for a handheld, in my opinion, because the levels are way too darn long. You have to properly sit down and play those levels. Um, however... It, it took tons to sort of download the space of it. It was a ton. And uh, another situation I found today. Apparently, you can run out of room for street pass data management. I didn't even know that was a thing, that you could run out of room for the street pass data management as to how many games you have street pass enabled. Street pass is, frankly, one of my one of the best features about the 3DS. Uh, and it's something I'm going to bring up in a discussion later on. But... It's kind of annoying that it can only have about 12 games uh, enabled on the Street Pass at one time. And there are a lot of good uh, 3DS games, and so many of them use Street Pass to great effect. Let's see, what was the other thing I was going to play and play? Oh yes, data storage in regards to Street Pass. Why did I never download the other Street Pass minigames? Because again, I ran out of space. However, the space the, that I had my initial Street Pass game day on was on my original SD card. However, now I can't keep my original SD card date uh, of Street Pass connected to the other games if I were to download them. It's a very confusing hassle and, you know, I can't go to the lengths of constantly switching back and forth SD cards, plus having each of those other Street Pass games in separate spaces. And, yeah, this, I love the 3DS. On the first day I had it, it blew me away. And it's got one of the best video game libraries ever. However, it's not perfect. I feel that, you know, being a first-time buyer leads to inevitable problems. One of those being the fact that they'll inevitably release bigger iterations and ones which improve on certain problems, such as the 3D, uh, which significantly got improved with later iterations. I was tempted to get a new 3DS on the basis of 3D. But saying that, I do feel that at the rate it's going, the 3DS, you know, the 3DS isn't dead yet. But I feel it is being phased out. Not for the Nintendo Switch, but it's beginning to be phased out for the new 3DS. After all, uh, Hyrule Warriors Legends, apparently it was released on the 3DS and new 3DS. It, well, it was a game that you could play on either system. It's not worth playing on the regular 3DS. It is a game that can only run properly off of a new 3DS. Likewise, I'd say the same thing about Pokemon Sun and Moon. They can just about manage running on a regular 3DS, but my gosh, did they chug and they, they struggle to do any battle scenes. And if you even attempt to turn 3D on, nope, it's dead, it's dead. The thing can't even access Miiverse. I was annoyed with the Pokemon Sun, uh, Pokemon X and Y and Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire for not allowing you to post Miiverse screenshots. But Pokemon Sun and Moon can't even access the Miiverse screenshots using a regular 3DS. It can't handle it. Pokemon Sun and Moon is killing the poor system. as it, You can see it, it physically in pain trying to run Pokemon Sun and Moon. And of upcoming releases, Fire Emblem Warriors is going to be on the Nintendo Switch, but the new 3DS as well, but not regular 3DS. As it goes along, the 3DS, I feel, is transitioning into a budget system, where it's going to be where people who don't want to spend too much money are going to make games for. But in terms of what the 3DS is... I feel the new 3DS is slowly going to take its place over the next couple of years as more new 3DS exclusives getting made. Hopefully, with the new 3DS, what with the new 2DS release, yeah, that's really blooming confusing, isn't it? Will eventually, you know, take over as the sort of 
main lower priced handheld for Nintendo to or for other companies to make games for and still transitioning sort of having a bit of the Nintendo market and eventually that will transition into with it hopefully taking off really well for Nintendo the uh, developers going on to the Nintendo Switch. So kind of, that last part kind of detoured from what I was generally trying to say it's generally the I have a lot of criticisms for the 3DS but I still love the system. I love the system but my gosh, does it make me want to throw it against a brick wall at times. Particularly the LNR buttons. These LNR buttons are driving me insane. Like, I can't complete Kirby Planet Robobot True Arena, or Arena, or even Standard Arena, because how am I supposed to when I can't defend? The LNR buttons don't work. They're so finicky when they do work. And, uh, you know, I can get them working, for, and Metro Prime Federation Force, I really enjoyed that game, but my gosh, it's a hassle trying to get it to play each time, because, you know, I leave it alone for like half an hour, the LNR buttons are blocked again, and they're kind of essential. Anyway, I've pretty much said all I want to say, but I'm going to try out this free cinnamon tea first, otherwise known as the pretzel tea. Ha, da, da, then... That is literally a pretzel. Someone liquefied a pretzel. It is, wow, that is, that is sweet. I haven't even got this with milk. That is super sweet. Oh my gosh, wow. Oh my gosh. No wonder why four cups of this could kill a, uh, more than four cups could kill a person. This is, this is super sweet. Oh my god, oh my god, oh, wow. Okay, Rafi and Kiris are going to love this tea. Oh my gosh, wow. Wow. Wow, it's not the tea for me. It's way too sweet. I'm glad I had it in a smaller cup. I would not be like, I can't. I can't even go through. Like you know, I get Proline chocolates. I love Proline chocolate. It's my favorite kind of chocolate. But I can only have like a couple of time because I'm not really good at dealing with rich and sugary foods. I mean, I can eat a giant slice of chocolate cake, but I'm not going to eat a whole chocolate cake in one day. Um, I'm a bigger fan of savory. But, so, wow, this is super sweet. And a small cup is very handy because I wouldn't be able to manage a big one. You like sweet teas? Definitely go pick yourself up a uh, Pucker's, uh, was it free cinnamon? It's free cinnamon, isn't it? Um, triple cinnamon would sound cooler, but I guess free cinnamon has a sweeter touch to it, sound to it. I'm going to bite my tongue because of that pun. Mm, uh, 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 hate puns. Um... In any case, that was uh, Free Cinnamon Tea, and this video was my discussion of, well, general ramblings of the 3DS, things I like and things I hate, about the system itself. It has access to a lot of great games because of its 3DS game library, the DS game library because of backwards compatibility, as well as the DSi store and the Virtual Console and 3DS eShop. And if you've got a new 3DS, you've also got SNES Virtual Console games, and if you got one early, you've got Ambassador games as well. And you got 3D Classic remakes as well. My gosh, there's a ton of games you can get on the 3DS. No wonder why my day got filled up so quickly. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Feel free to share your thoughts on the 3DS, the good, the bad, and the ugly about it. And uh, I hope you enjoyed. Cheerio, everyone!